Trust Jesus. Well, I live in Orlando. What do you expect? I'm right by Disney. What you know? They're gonna give great messages of hope over Walt Disney World for everyone visiting to see. I love it when they do that. It's done actually quite a bit because I mean, look at this. It's springtime in Central Florida. Sometimes it rains, but most days it looks like this. Sunshine State. So I want to encourage you to know that you can tune out the news. If you're a big news junkie, if you rely on the news every day, want to know what's going on in the world, but you're a born again Christian and you find sometimes you have anxiety and a lack of peace when you see the current administration doing so many things that hurts this country and hurts Christians and hurts the church and you see the trend and where it's going and you're concerned about it. Let me tell you how you can just let that go. So years ago under Obama, I was listening to talk radio, come and go from work. And then I would come home and I'd watch Fox news. Then I would turn on CNN, see what the enemy's saying. And <laughs> And then I would talk to my wife. I'd be like, can you believe this? Can you believe that? Whatever. And she'd be like, stop talking about that. Who cares, right? And she's a conservative like me. So it's not like she's sympathetic to the other side. She's, you know, just thinks just the way I do. But she just wanted peace. She says there's value in peace. Anyway, so between that and the Lord just simply placing on my heart, you know what I did? I decided to tune it all out. Now, this was a time in my life where I already read the Bible, I'm already a born again Christian, Obama's president, couldn't stand him for anything. And I decided I'm gonna turn off talk radio and I'm gonna turn on the stations that play uh, sermons. I'm gonna learn about the Bible. I read the Bible in the morning, then I get in the car and go to work and I hear more about the Bible and sermons and it was just wonderful. And uh, matter of fact, you've probably heard me criticize John MacArthur and his certain positions on Calvinism and cessationism and uh, his view towards women preachers, uh, and rightfully so. I criticize him on this channel because he's wrong. Uh, but that's where I first learned to him. He's on the radio every morning. I'd be driving to work, I'd hear John MacArthur, and I was just like, oh my goodness, can I listen to maybe Jack Graham or, or Charles Stanley? Or <laughs> Why has it got to be in that time slot? But anyway, that's another point. So what I did was I started uh, coming home from work, and once again, I would spend the time with the kids. I would spend the time with the wife. We would have dinner together. We'd pray together. And then I'd read the Bible again. And then if we watched anything, it would be maybe more for entertainment or a sport. But I did not watch news. And what I found is that in my spirit, I felt joy and peace and happiness. It was given to me by the Lord. And my, you know, Jesus said, if you abide in me, I'll abide in you. Well, I like amped that up big time. And I made my spiritual life grew. My understanding of the scripture grew. Uh, and, and all throughout that time, you know what happened in addition to all the positive spiritual benefits that experienced during that period of time? I'm talking I experienced miracles, healings. I suffered with asthma my entire life. Always had an inhaler. I'll tell that full story one day. But this was that time during that Obama administration. I was 100% healed years ago from that. Never used that thing since. It's, that's an incredible story. Uh, I experienced some other miracles. I know there are cessationists out there who say there's no miracles today. Well, they're, they're never gonna experience any miracles because they have no faith. And I wanna tell you, you can have faith for God to do miracles in your life, to intervene when you pray, but you gotta abide in Jesus Christ. And you can't be all caught up in the world. And I did exactly that probably a year before this election, this last election, leading up to it and then afterwards, always looking at the rallies, the news, what are people saying? I get so frustrated when they would twist what Trump said into something he didn't. And we all, we all know how that went. I don't need to go into that. But it, it creates anxiety, a lack of peace, everything. You know what I've done in the last couple months? I went back to the way I was when Obama was president. I just tuned it out. You think you hear the big stories anyway? Of course you do. People talk, you hear what's going on in the world, but I'm not glued to it. I don't, I don't go home from work and turn on the news, even Fox News, even those new ones. I like Newsmax and Right Side Broadcasting, whatever it's called. I mean, I like that on YouTube, but I, I don't pay attention to it. I don't, I, I, you know what? I'm in the Bible. I'm putting my trust in Jesus Christ. And when the time comes to do my civic duties and vote again, I will vote again and I will know how to vote and I will be educated in voting and I will vote for the right person. But until then, I'm going to trust Jesus. 
for peace. I'm going to trust Jesus for everything. My provider, my Lord and Savior. And it is a world of difference. So that's my encouragement to you and my suggestion to you. Trust Jesus. Get out of the news. Get out of the talk radio. Don't worry about it. You'll hear the big stories. Spend that time, family, with friends, preaching the gospel to those and your neighbors and, uh, and spending more time with the people, fostering relationships with those who go to your church. Things like that. Uh, you know, get outside and enjoy life and trust Jesus always. And don't get distracted with the things that are going to tear down your your peace and create anxiety as we watch this world turn, you know, crumble. Deal with what you can do. You can't deal with the political stuff and legislation and stuff like that. You believe me, there's very little you can do. But what you can do is make a difference where you are in your life first and those around your life. Focus on that and where to go? Trust Jesus. <laughs> Thanks for watching. May the peace and love of Jesus Christ be with you now and forever. Amen. Bye-bye.